principles so let us start with object oriented principles in the typescript because typescript is object oriented programming language or it's a multi paradigm programming language it's a functional also it's a procedural oriented also and it's a object oriented also so object oriented will play a uh, important role while learning in the angular and any other back end technologies okay by considering this i am creating this video so let's create one folder and you can say object oriented principles in the typescript okay refresh it no so this folder need to be inside the typescript okay <coughs> first let us get define what do you mean by class cls dot ts right so export class and you can say what you can say uh, i can say bird simple class we are going to say what bird we have seen what do you mean by export export is nothing but if you want to import this class in the another file you would be needing the export right and bird or instead of bird i can say animal just say animal right so i'm saying one class is there an animal okay then next term is inheritance here you can say export class tiger well i can write this class in the another file also something like this so i'll open i'll create new file and i can create inheritance inheritance dot ts okay so let me get it inheritance dot ts remember that so in one file you have exported the animal class and the inheritance file you have did something like this class tiger now i would like to define is a relationship right what i would like to define is a relationship tiger is an animal right so how do you define that so let me go to the sketch pad for defining or explaining some things for explaining something now we have one animal class remember that and we have created another class you can see tiger right so what we are saying tiger is an animal so here you can see one relationship which is nothing but is a relationship is a relationship and is a relationship is defined by the inheritance in the programming languages means in another word what you are saying tiger has all that properties which animal has right yesterday we have seen how to define the properties of the class let me explain that once again and again i'll come back to what inheritance first i'll explain how to define the class right yesterday i have already explained that but still revise it once again so if you can see class and animal so what we have seen yesterday what do you mean by class class is a combination of state and the behavior class is a combination of what state and the behavior what do you mean by state when you say animal animal has certain properties legs eyes something like that so let's have number of legs so i would like to say legs legs and type of this is number right then you can say eyes again type of this is what number something like this legs and the eyes then whenever i would be creating object of an animal what i'm saying whenever i am creating object of an animal i need to define these two things right i need to define what these two things so creation of the object is something like this if you can say let an is of type animal an is of type what animal and i am going to create object of animal something like this an is of type 
animal and I have created object of what animal remember that this is not the object this is the reference variable which is going to hold one memory location which has the object so we call it as object reference variable what we call it as object reference variable the reference variable which holds the object memory that's why a n is called as what o r v remember that okay so here you have defined the state right now every animal can run see run is the behavior sorry run right which is returning me void we are in the typescript so deliberately i am writing the type well it is absolutely not necessary it is absolutely not necessary to write type every time every time if you write something like this this is also working that's not an issue let an is equals to new animal that that will work very fine it will understand the type from the value right okay so run return type is void and i'm going to do something like this this dot legs plus equals to 5 so one behavior so this is called as what behavior which is operating on the state legs is nothing but what state run is nothing but what behavior so when you say class is a combination of state and the behavior class is nothing but what combination of the state and the behavior okay so this is what behavior is this is what state is this is how you will create what object so three things has been cleared now what is state what is behavior what is class what is object now next thing comes in your mind is that i want to define the values at the time of object creation i would like to define these values some default values at the time of object creation so actual this 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 line will create the object and this is nothing but some special function call when you say this thing this is nothing but what some special function call and that function is called as constructor remember that that function is called as what constructor so here whenever you call this much thing this block would be getting executed and this is nothing but what function is right so when you create the animal you can pass number of legs of course four number of eyes of course two so here what you have said legs are four eyes are what two here you have passed in that way now to this function also you need to have same things because this when you invoke this thing this thing would be getting invoked right now see what will happen here you can say i'll hit the enter here right and then you can say legs is of type number then eyes is of type what number see i am repeating myself is of type you also need to say something like this while typing the code right legs of type number eyes of type again what number so here i can say this the state of class is equals to the local variable legs right again the state of class eyes is equals to local variable eyes like this now what will happen when you say 4 and 2 that will come here 4 and 2 right and this is nothing but the state to the class level to the class level variable you are assigning this leg again to the class level variable you are assigning this local eyes so your state would be getting updated over here right then this is what you can say some older way this is nothing but what one older way what typescript says that if you want to do same thing use the constructor efficiently right and here itself you can write private legs is of type number and private eyes is of type what number private legs is of type number private eyes is of type number so this much lines of code is equals to what this much line of code typescript says these things 
right typescript says what this thing remember that this is an indentation actually this should look like this right this is the indentation but typescript says that you can intend this something like this for re more readability so this is the function parenthesis remember that and this is the block parenthesis where your function is going to get executed right okay now this is about what you can say how do you create the object and how do you pass some default values to the object creation right even typescript says that if you want to pass some default values you can pass here itself and the two default values here itself you can pass it four and the two by default every animal has four legs and what two eyes right so default values would be four and two if you don't pass it still it will work still it will what work because you have passed the default values like this okay now animal we have defined remember that we have defined what animal then we have defined one behavior we have created object you can call something like this a dot run then your this state would be getting initialized right your state would be getting what initialized remember that this is now private this is now what private, private. so you cannot access on the object a n dot what you can say legs not possible though it is a state of the class though it is what state of the class you cannot access the legs and the eyes right because you have attached one access modifier called as private and what this access modifier will do it will restrict the access to the class level only so these legs and eyes can be accessed only inside these two parentheses right and that's what your abstraction is hiding low level information and sh giving some behavior to access this information means if you want to operate on the legs what i'm saying if you want to operate on the legs right if you want to operate on the legs you need to call this function only likewise the fan you don't know when you click on the fan when you click the button right when you turn on the fan that hardware button what things exactly happening internally you don't know that thing but you just turn on the button and turn off the button that's it in the same fashion run you don't need to worry about algorithm of the run when you are invoking it how run works what's exactly happening right this is a switch consider that switch of the fan how internally working is don't know that's what what you can say abstraction is right now when you create a object when you create a object it creates one capsule of your state and the behavior both things are combined right both things are what combined so it is called as encapsulation principle this is abstraction principle right and next principle is of what inheritance so here we have seen lot many things and here abstraction fourth pillar of the object oriented principles export class tiger and you can say extends animal you can see it has been automatically imported import animal from dot represents current directory right cls represents one file in the current directory and in, inside a cls you will find the animal class that's what we are saying so when you say animal right when you say animal so when you do like this you are getting all the properties non private properties you are getting what non private properties directly to the properties means state and behavior 
directly accessible inside the tiger class let us see let tg is of type tiger is equals to what new tiger and you can say tg dot run can you see the run behavior is not available inside the tiger class can you see that but the run behavior is available inside what animal class so properties has inherited as it is behaviors are inherited as it is if you can see this properties are inherited as it is behaviors are inherited as it is extends so where is a run so tg is a object reference variable is of type what tiger can you see any run method inside this no but how do you call it then because tiger is an animal animal is having that property right and that's why this is not accessible over here right any question